With today's ranting roundup of tech news for January 19th, 2012, I'm Eric Mack, and I'm back after an extended break uh, for CES where I wandered around talking to brilliant tech minds all day long and then writing about it all night long after that. Not much time for sleep. Uh, I promise it was just working and writing. Uh, nothing else. The fact that I, I took a week and a half off is uh, due to the fact that I, I tacked on an extra couple days. Mini vacation with my family has nothing to do at all with a misunderstanding with the police on the strip that lands me in jail for three days. Uh, I, I promise one of those things uh, did not happen. But onto the tech news, uh, I'm back just in time for a big Apple announcement and nothing says Apple pizzazz and glitz and glamour like digital textbooks. Uh, it's not quite a sexy new piece of Apple hardware, but there actually is quite a lot to like in this announcement. There's a new app that uh, Apple says uh, you, you can use to take uh, everything you need. It's everything you need to take courses on your iPad or your iPhone or your iPod Touch, uh, which seems to me would be a little bit difficult to uh, tap out disestablishmentarianism on a four-inch screen, but what do I know? I, I got my learning from, uh, from ink on dead pieces of dead trees, so... Uh, very quaint. Also today, Kodak files for Chapter 11 bankruptcy uh, just days after I bought this video camera from them. So uh, apparently that uh, the warranty on this thing is probably now about as valuable as this uh, silly old ink and paper textbook. Uh, yeah, HTML from 2005. I actually uh, I, I bookmarked the page here that describes uh, a new free web browser called Firefox. Hmm, interesting. My, how things change in a few years. Finally today, the Fed sees the domain names and assets of shady video site MegaUpload.com on copyright infringement charges, uh, which is just great uh, because now it means I have to go find my own Cialis ads to plaster all over this video when I upload it. Uh, also, uh, another interesting side point, uh, it seems that existing copyright laws seem to be working, even without SOPA or PIPA. Hmm. That's the tech news. I'm Eric Mack.